Hi students, let's look at this question here, which is an interesting question on parametric equation. I think uh, taken from one of the school tutorial. Uh, this question is on how actually you use parametric equation to model a wheel uh, moving on a ground, let's say. Okay. So in this question here, you're told that the circular wheel of radius one, this is a unit circle, as you move from the lowest point uh, to in the positive x direction. So imagine this point P here, which is move. Okay, so I'll just sim simulate this using the Desmos graph. Okay, basically what you should should understand is that when you have a P here, th this is like a, a time stamp. Okay, so at zero is here. So position of P is over here. Then as you move along to this side, as this wheel move from left to right, you just move to this side. Okay, now from a get go, you may think that as you trace along this this path of this red color, it may look like a circle, but it's not all like a swirl. But actually, if you trace it out, the interesting thing is it doesn't look like a circle. It, it looks like a semicircle, like a curve kind of thing, right? So it's like a so so basically this is what they're trying to say. You want they want you to model as this this point on the surface, uh, as you move along this side, how do you actually use parametric equation to model? this point here as, as it goes from left to right okay so for parameter just understand that parameter is like a timestamp right you you want to just trace it out uh so the, that's the, the thing about the first part so given that p point p is uh on the xy plane meaning on the paper show that the parametric equation of this p as, as, as it moves along right is given by theta minus sine theta and one minus cosine theta for y okay so let's try understand this firstly just let p be x and y because that is the coordinate you want to find. So this this basically this is your x, and this is your y. All right. Then second, uh, then then we try and figure out uh how to express y in terms of theta and x in terms of theta. I think the the main thing is to understand any any circle if this is one unit length, so the radius is one unit, right? So you can see very clearly actually, uh, this case here, this length here will be. 1 cosine theta by using to castle trigo ratio this over here will just be 1 sine theta okay so there's that so i think getting the y shouldn't be an issue because what happens here is this one over here this is one unit all right then this over here is actually just uh 1 minus cosine theta so this is just 1 minus cosine theta Okay, so there you go. You you get straight out straight away that y is just one minus cosine theta. Okay, so that's that's the case there. But the the one which is not so straightforward is actually the x, the coordinate of x. But before that, let me just label everything. Then we can just show. All right. So I label all these. Uh, I label this as q and r. Q being the center of the wheel, and r be the point of contact to the floor. Then f be the foot of perpendicular of p to q r. Okay, I think that's 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 okay. So by using Pythagoras theorem, we can find QF is one cosine theta, right? And uh, PF is actually one sine theta by trigo ratio, sorry. Great, so I label everything already. So now we know that the Y, hence uh, Y coordinate is equals to QR minus QF. So this is the parametric equation for Y. Great. Now let's look at the parametric equation for X, okay? X is not so straightforward. You, if if you want to see how you want to understand that, I think getting sine y should mean this is a sine y here. There's an extra theta here which you need to 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 account for. Sine so, so sine theta is over here, right? So you you know that you need to minus off something, which is, but take note, as you roll over, this length here will be equal to this length here. The arc length PR will be equal to OR because that's where you roll. You assume that the wheel doesn't uh, slide okay so it's always in constant contact with the floor so pr will be equal to or that's that's the thing there okay so that uh so you can use arc length that is where if you use arc length so you know the arc length here is arc length is r theta which is actually one theta right so if you want to find the coordinate of x here this is just uh theta minus sine theta that's where you get the theta minus sine theta from okay so now we just write it out okay that's it so we then we know the x coordinate of p will just be o p minus of um o p minus of p f. Okay, so the so the parametric equation for uh, x so hence shown. Okay, so that's that's how you do the first part. Find the range of value of y shouldn't be an issue. Also, as you of course y 
because the y value this is one right so the the y value will range from what one and uh, zero zero and two because as you roll over okay so your, your y value will definitely be zero to two okay as you roll over as such okay so what we do is you just understand that you could actually just use trigo as well you know that cosine theta will be one and minus one all right so meaning to say negative cosine theta will also be negative one and one and then you just add one at plus or one both sides this is multiplied by negative one you, so in multiply negative one you flip the sign you add a one you just add one minus cosine theta zero so two between y zero so hence zero y between two okay so i don't think you need to show as such you can just deduce from diagram is from zero to two so subsequently you for the the last part should be an issue that sketching this what we need is actually like i said we we, we want this so so you just key in calculator from zero to two pi. Okay, make sure in your GC graphing calculator you adjust the window setting. Okay, so just this uh, one one uh, curvature here. So in this case it will be start with zero and the end point here. So this one you can just key in calculator. Check you press press trace and put two pi in, but you can also just let y when y is zero we know that um. 1 minus cosine theta is 0. So cosine theta is equals to 1. This will give us a 0 or 2 pi. So when theta is 2 pi, we know that the x coordinate will correspond to uh, co correspond to what do you call it? Um, 0 or 2 pi, right? Because you just replace it in. So 1 is where the x coordinate. So this will be uh, 2 pi sine so this guy we 2 pi common zero okay so that's how i do this question proficiently if you have any questions at all please do let us know and i'll see you in the next question